Luis de Leon. Luis de Leon. Luis de Leon. I'm your host, Luis de Leon. Next on Stormwatch, you'll see how you can get a great cut for free. We'll see how one MATC culinary instructor crafts the perfect burger. We'll learn how to communicate more effectively and want to put your strategic skills to the test. Stormwatch visited with the MATC Chess Club. Two human television students, Zada E. Perez, and where she's headed next. But first, let's have a look at dealing with PTSD as a war veteran. This is a trending topic in today's society and has been a part of our lives through relatives, close friends, and sometimes even ourselves. After that, Bettina Lawson gives us an inside view on the MATC. Great dancers are not great solely because of their technique. They are great because of their passion. Today, we are going to watch an amazing performance by Glen Castle Irish Dance School, live here in our studio. Emmanuel Espino gives us some math tips. Shelton Love gives us a look inside the animation department. Kyle Rogers sits down with an entrepreneurship instructor. Sara E. Perez gives us a look at public safety here at MATC. We are joined now by former MATC baseball player and current Miller Park employee Kyle Rogers who's here to talk to us about the Brewers and the new season upon us. Kyle, welcome to the show, man. How's it going? It's do I'm doing all right. Uh, so why don't we start with your, uh, your position at Miller Park. So tell us a little bit about what you all do there and your experiences there at Miller Park as an employee. Okay. Uh, last year I was an intern, so there we did, uh, for the interns, you get to go around and basically try out everything you want. So I was mostly doing editing yeah, and camera. Absolutely amazing. Switching gears a little bit, uh, the shoes. The shoes has always been obviously the main part of Irish dance. That's what makes all the noise. That's what draws the attention. And a common misconception, people just think that the Irish dance shoes are just tap dancing shoes. If you want to explain the difference between the two. Correct. There is actually a soft shoe and a hard shoe um, right. for Irish dance. The soft shoe that the girls wear is much like a ballet slipper, mm -hmm. um, but there's no padding in the toes, so when you see the girls pushing up. Right. And um, what, explain some of those benefits that uh, students have if they were able to travel to Central America, uh, besides just intaking and learning about the culture, mm -hmm. you know, emotionally, mentally, like what, what are the benefits behind that? Um, mentally slash emotionally, you really get to outstep your boundaries, do something that would really push you outside your comfort zone. Um, so that's something that you definitely, you kind of get to see how far you can take yourself. So that's something that you And don't think that you know it all, so. Right. Well, thank you so much for coming in this afternoon. Thank you. Taking the time to talk with us about your experiences. Next up, Zelina Van shows us the Writing Center and what it can do for you. Then Dan Hansen shares us the hardships of parking at the parking garage. Take a look. Luis de Leon joins us with a look at our weather. Thank you guys, and uh, seeing some of those stories today, you know, really proving that spring definitely has sprung, and mm -hmm. so a lot of those warm temperatures sticking around. I hope you guys got to get outside this weekend. Oh, definitely yeah. did. Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> of course, as we go to your weather headlines, as I said before, we're going to be seeing, for the most part, a beautiful week of weather here in the area as the warm-up trend is going to continue and stay consistent as the days move on. Uh, by Wednesday, we should be seeing some slight and stray showers as the clouds roll in along with the low pressure system that will be helping the clouds be able to condense into precipitation but the temperature still should be staying warm with plentiful sunshine continuing into your weekend so a pretty decent week ahead so that's for your current conditions taking a look outside right now i have listed it at overcast skies but we are seeing a lot more sunshine than usual i believe just those clouds really rolled out of the area overnight with the temperature right now at 62 degrees and the dew point at 40. Okay, 48. As we move into your highs, a very warm day across the state, as I said before. Starting up North and Ryland with that high of 61. Down Green Bay, 60. Oshkosh, 62. Here in Milwaukee, actually seeing the warmest temperature at 67 degrees. Out in the state capital, 66. And out by the state border, Eau Claire, 62. And La Crosse, Wednesday, 65. looking into your Wednesday. Showers occurring on and off all day. Maybe even seeing some sleet throughout that day. Temperature high at 51 degrees, so the temperature is going to be increasing gradually throughout the week. Low at 38. Uh, winds coming out of the south at 15 to 20 miles per hour. Maybe even seeing some gusts getting up to 30 miles per hour throughout that week. So as for your extended forecast, we are seeing the cool down trend continuing this week, but getting just a little warmer towards the end. Thursday we are seeing uh, rain on and off throughout that day with a high of 44. Finally, some sunshine peeking through. Uh, with a high of 42. Moving into your weekend Saturday, partly cloudy skies once again with a high of 49, but the rain returns on Sunday with a high of 42. So, uh, for your opening day for the Brewers, definitely a cold one. <laughs> oh yeah, they'd probably wear a jacket or something. It's, yeah. it's cold out there. Definitely. 